The Hearts of Gold podcast is brought to you by the Grow and Share Network, produced by Off the Walter Media Productions. Welcome to Hearts of Gold. Today we have Marissa with us. Hi, Marissa. Hi. Can you tell us about your Gold Award project? My Gold Award project was Yoga Out of Stress. I taught yoga classes at the local elementary school and the high school where I'm from to teach them how um, to relieve stress and uh, tips for meditation. What kind of feedback did you get from the students from your classes? So I was a little nervous at first because I've never, I at first I didn't really know like what yoga was and my high school counselor told me that I should give it a try. So I gave it a try. And I thought the whole time that yoga was for like older people and not for people my age. So I was a little hesitant at first. And then once I got, gave it a try, I really enjoyed it. So I wanted to share that with them. The younger kids and the older kids, they all loved it. I had different lessons tailored to both of them. And after that, I even got offered a job at the local Boys and Girls Club teaching yoga. You combined yoga as a stress reliever. So how does yoga relieve stress? It allows your brain to relax along with you uh, getting exercise, which is also important when uh, relieving stress. This was a personal project for you because you had um, had some stress in your life and you had found yoga as the way to relieving stress and you wanted to share that with others. Can you give us a little bit of that background? So when I was 12, my mom passed away, who was also my Girl Scout goal, or my Girl Scout leader. She passed away from an unknown cause. And so for her uh, passing away unexpectedly, it was really hard for me. In between my freshman and sophomore year, I started having non-epileptic seizures. Non-epileptic seizures are kind of like regular seizures, but I have brain activity during mine. So with mine, it can look like a regular seizure, but it isn't as dangerous, but I would have them up to seven times a day. I would be missing class and the doctors thought that it was because of the stress of just everything leading up to that. And so I gave it a try and it's, it helped. And and we're very glad that it helped. (laughs) <laughs> a few weeks ago, you were featured on the Geos USA blog um, talking about all the scholarships that you've earned that helped you pay for your first year and a half of school. Can you tell us some background on how that story came to be? I saw a post from the Girl Scouts just on their Instagram page, and they said, because of Girl Scouts, and then we're supposed to fill in the blank. So I said, because of Girl Scouts, I was able to pay for a year of my college without any loans. And so then a few weeks went by and then I got a message from the Girl Scout page saying that they wanted to use my comment and if that was okay. And I was like, of course. And being from a small town, I didn't really think I would have been, you know, noticed or anything. So that was really cool. And then I didn't realize how much impact it would have had because it was shared a whole bunch of times. It was liked a whole bunch of times and I didn't realize it would even get that big. So Marissa and I happened to know each other for a long, long time. Um, And I happened to see the post and I did check last week before we started recording. And I know that not only did it have, as you said, lots of likes and lots of shares, there was 142 comments on that post, on the, just on the GSUSA part of the, web, of the post. Um, and I, I, that, that blew me away. <laughs> um, it, I thought I was really impressed. And I was, I was very excited for Marissa to be featured in that way. Can you tell us about some of the scholarships that you did get because of Girl Scouts? I don't remember the names, but I did receive one through uh, the Badgerling Council, and that helped me tremendously. And then I also received stuff for uh, through my town and through the school to be, because I was a Girl Scout, they chose me over any of the other candidates that could have been chosen. When we had chatted, you also said that it's not just the scholarships that helped you, but also the learning about financial 
um, planning and things like that in Girl Scouts. So what kinds of tools did you learn in Girl Scouts that then helped you to manage that first year of school? A lot of the times people going into college don't know how to budget. They don't have a planner going on. And so starting from the earliest I can remember is middle school that we were learning how to budget and we were creating different plans. And then to build up for trips that we would want to go on, we saved our own money and we had like logs. And so we kept track of that. So that helped me in my finances because that's what I do now in my everyday life is what I learned from Girl Scouts. What other Girl Scout experiences did you have that you'd like to share? There's so many. I feel like some of my favorite ones was horseback riding. I had the slowest horse and my mom was in the very front and there was like 20 girls in between. So it was a scary experience being like 12, but it was really fun. And then I've also went to Girl Scout camp a couple of times for one was for a week and then I did a few uh, day camps and then a overnight it was like a mom and me class so we went for like one night and then we had two days to do stuff we went creek hopping and then two summers ago I went to California as uh, an adult on the trip my Girl Scouts are younger than me in my troop, so I was fortunate enough that they were going on the trip and they asked me if I wanted to be one of the chaperones, and I was like, I'm not going to turn down California. So we went there, and we went to Disney, and a lot of other fun stuff. (laughs) Going back to your gold award, what struggles did you have during your project, and how did you resolve them? My biggest struggle was getting everybody scheduled together. Not only did I have to line up my schedule, but I had to line up my advisor's schedule for the um, the project and because she was my high school counselor. And so she was acting as both roles. And then I had to schedule times where I could use the gym, which was um, sometimes not available because of sporting activities or other events. And then... I went, I had to connect with other schools. And so just all of that took a lot of time and dedication because there was times where I'm like, why am I doing this? But then I looked back at my notes from the very first session of when we were planning of ideas of what I wanted to do. And like, just my comments on that page. I was like, this is, I I need to keep going. And what's your favorite memory from your Gold Award project? I loved teaching the younger kids because they were very entertaining with the enthusiasm that they brought. But I feel like my favorite memory was I was sitting on the bus on the way home, and this was like a year later, and a little girl came up to me and said, you're that girl. And I was like, what girl? (laughs) And she's like, you're the girl that did yoga at my school. And she said that because of you, I started doing yoga on a daily basis. And just knowing that from a year later, a little girl would remember me. I knew that my job was completed. During your Girl Scout career life, You had two very special Girl Scout leaders in your life. You had touched on your mom earlier, um, but there was another Girl Scout leader named Liz. Um, Can you tell us a little bit more about your mom and Liz and the impact that they had and their story? So my mom and Liz were my Girl Scout leaders from the time that I started to the time that um, they were no longer to be here with us. And so we've had many great memories I became really close with Liz's daughter, Lily, and we were just, we were kind of our own family and together because we're always spending time together. They were very special people. They made an impact on a lot of people throughout the community, not only in Girl Scouts, but what they did in their everyday life. I also happen to know both of them because again, Marissa and I, our towns are pretty close. Um, And yeah, they were both, they were both very loving, sweet individuals, and they're both greatly, greatly missed. What else would you like to share with our audience? I would say never give up because there's tons of times 
when I was even just planning of what I was going to do when I didn't even have this idea. And I just was like, I don't know if I want to do this, but it was my goal from the time I can remember that I wanted to get my gold award because my mom got her gold award. So I knew not to get, let those little things get in the way. And so that's just a reminder to keep on going. You had a very, very supportive group that was encouraging you through the entire process. Yes. Um, <laughs> what is your favorite s'mores trick? To not use chocolate, but to use Reese's instead. That just makes it so much more tasty. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, Marissa. Thank you. Please subscribe so that you always know when new episodes are released. And check our blog for tips and tricks on earning your gold award. And don't forget to power your passion and conquer your challenges. The Hearts of Gold podcast is brought to you by the Grow and Share Network, produced by Off the Walter Media Productions. Thank you for listening and spreading the word on what we do. If you want to share your story of how you earned your gold award, reach out and send an email to grow and share at outlook.com. Be sure to listen to the newest episodes on your favorite podcast app, as well as view the full video episodes on youtube.com slash Cheryl M. Robinson. That's youtube.com slash Cheryl, the letter M, Robinson. Take care, and we'll see you next time.